if you swallow gum, is it harmful? And furthermore, if you swallow gum, will it stay in your system for seven years? I mean, you know why I'm asking, right? That sort of old wives tale or is it an old wives tale? Um, that phrase that you've probably heard that I remember hearing when I was on the playground in elementary school, uh, where some kids told me that if I swallowed the gum I was chewing, it would stay in my system for seven years. I remember being absolutely terrified and being like, ah! because of course, every now and then I found that I would accidentally swallow gum, even when I didn't mean it. I mean, how many of us have swallowed gum accidentally, right? So of course it made me totally panic. So we are going to talk about that today is swallowing gum harmful, number one. Uh, does it stay in your system uh, for seven years? Number two, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. Uh, let's first start by talking about gum, okay? First of all, gum is not meant to be swallowed. Let's be very clear about that, okay? We want you to chew gum. We don't want you to swallow gum. But in terms of the gum itself, there are aspects of gum that are indigestible. That means there are parts of the gum that usually cannot be broken down by our body. Now, there are components of the gum that can be broken down by our body, but there are parts that cannot. So I know you're probably saying, oh my gosh, well, if there are parts that can't be broken down by my body, what happens? Does it stay in my system for seven years? Well, um, first of all, well, the good thing rather, I should say, is that we're in luck. Even though there's a decent amount of gum that's not digested by the body, um, it doesn't mean that there's necessarily a problem because what usually happens is that wad of gum, even if we swallow it accidentally, sort of comes through our GI tract, our digestive tract, and travels all the way down there and is usually excreted kind of like other stuff that we eat, okay? Lucky for us. So let's go back to this question of if you swallow gum, will it stay in your system for seven years? That should help you answer that question, which is no. It does not stay in your system for seven years, not even close. Thank goodness for that, okay? And by the way, for any of you who have had like colonoscopies or other <laughs> other GI tests, um, you, you know, your doctor can probably attest to that. I mean, look, if, if that were the case, doctors would probably find a lot of stuff when they do colonoscopies and endoscopies. But anyway, I digress, I digress. So the point being is, for most of us, even though we can't digest most of gum, it usually just sort of goes through our GI tract and comes on out. Now, um, is it harmful to swallow gum? Uh, and, and like, what happens if we do? Is there a problem with it? Well, let me be very clear about that. I mentioned that you know, gum is not meant to be swallowed. It's meant to be chewed. Um, there have been case reports in the medical literature of small numbers of people that have swallowed lots and lots and lots and lots of gum, like copious amounts of gum. And they ended up with what we call intestinal obstructions. Now, very likely they had other things going on, other, you know, GI stuff, blah, 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 or maybe not. But the point being is in those episodes, they ended up with an obstruction in their GI tract, which can be very, very dangerous. Um, those instances are very rare few and far between, but the idea is, no, you shouldn't be swallowing gum and you don't want to be swallowing large amounts of gum uh, in short periods of time, right? It sort of reinforces this idea. So with kids and stuff, you want to tell them, don't swallow your gum. Um, is that common to happen? Absolutely not. It's very, very, very rare, but it's important to know that it has happened. Theoretically, it could happen. Uh, for most people, though, a swallow of a gum here or there just sort of passes on through. So that old wives tale we can kind of put to rest. Um, just make sure you guys are chewing your gum and not swallowing it. I hope this is helpful. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you've heard, what you have believed, and all that good stuff. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert, and video creator. Please subscribe to my channel, click the little bell, and I also have subscription groups on YouTube as well. Guys, I'll see you soon.